Hey everybody, happy Easter. Look who I've got with me, it's Tucky. She came for the weekend to visit and we're hanging out and we're dreaming and we're imagining. And Tucky decided that she had something to say. So first of all, we're just gonna talk about things. But I think the theme of today is really a new story. It's about starting a new story. Mm -hmm. And I'm dressed as the metaphor. See, the dark is <laughs> under the light. And regardless of how much light you show, the dark is going to oh, come through. So unless you face it and embrace it, face it and embrace it, face it and embrace it, then you're not embracing all of you. Mm -hmm. So it is about the dark and the light and loving it all. And I, thank you so much for sharing this space with me. I know, I know it's so hard. <laughs> well, you know, I am. You do see that most of the lights on my side. But actually, the halo. If you look at the way the light is doing, it's actually I know, around I don't really my head. Have one. Would you share? Could you I share, share your halo? Well, you know what I can do? I can emanate onto oh, you. Oh, emanate. Okay. Emanation. That's a yes. big word. Yes, because we are here to radiate That's outward. So you word. see I'm radiating outward towards you. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. now you can have the spotlight. Okay. Um, I had no idea. So I don't know if anybody's going to hear this because this was like just something I was going to like say, have the courage to say to you. Um, but it's, I think it's like a discovery. Yesterday we were drawing cards. And the card that I drew was inner wisdom. Yeah. And... This morning, here's what I have discovered about myself. That when I am listening, I want to say really listening, but what is really listening? But when I am in the space of receiving the tonality and the vibrations and the intonations of people's voice, like when I was listening to you guys this morning, uh -huh. I have this capacity to feel into authenticity and in authenticity and it's it's just interesting that's all I can tell you it's like a it's like a vibration sometimes and what I do and what I what I've done and what I even find myself doing is that I go and I feel like I I take that and put it into judgment and it's really not about taking that and putting it into anything it is just it's simply receiving it and letting it be what it is. And along that same line, ever since I was a little girl, I have this place that I go sit. Like I'm like I'm sitting here with y'all. But in this place of inner wisdom where I sit, I actually can see things happening in the future. I can see them. And so it's like I can see you. I can see you with Oprah. I can see you with Laurel. I can see these things. It's like I can see into an alternate, multidimensional reality. But whether or not it comes true is really not the point. It's not. It's not the point. And see, I think that's where I've gotten so... I get caught inside my head. <laughs> well, and I think, that, I think the point is, though, that the judgment you were talking about, mm -hmm. it's, it, it really is the judgment of yourself and whether you truly have that inner wisdom or not and you do yeah yep 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 because every time i've heard you speak you've been on target yeah every time i've heard you call something it's been a truth that you were witnessing mm -hmm. but because somewhere in the past or your filters or for some reason or other you question it and i think that we all are especially you especially me are finally getting to these places of mm -hmm. where we truly trust and confidence mm -hmm. about what we feel what mm -hmm. we see what mm -hmm. we think Mm -hmm. And we're willing to boldly stand yeah, like I'm never just, before. Yeah, I can feel it. I can feel, and it's almost as if um, it just, it's a mismatch in frequency, but something just feels like it's not in full possibility, in full potential, in full essence. Like, I know where that is. I can feel it. And if it's not that, it's, you know, I can feel it. I only, just, I, I only want to play in full possibility. Yeah. And I know you do too. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why you can feel it. Because you the know fop. that that's not in mm -hmm. the In the fop. That's Tucky's language. We're going to write a dictionary with Field Tucky's of language. all possibility. Yeah. That is so awesome. Isn't that right, Larry? Field of all possibility. Fop. In the fop. Larry, can you see Larry? There's Larry. Say hi, Larry. Hey. That's what she does to me. She says, okay? say hi, Tuck. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Larry that and was Tuck like, came to visit. Yeah, that, one, that was like, that happens when, we, when we're young. Because this morning... Didn't you say something to Chris? Or we said, Chris, say so-and-so. So-and-so and so-and-so. And so Chris said, so-and-so and so-and-so. And we thought, isn't it cute that we create little robots? We teach people that... to copy. Mm -hmm. And we just did it. We, we just... just did it. Mm -hmm. And we keep doing it all the way till we're grown. <laughs> we keep being copycats. And it's time to change that mm -hmm. and be rebels. Creative rebel. Individual Creative with rebels. your own exquisite style That's and right. uniqueness. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. So this Easter is about... 
resurrection and rebirth yeah. in a new story, in a new way. New story. That's the, that's the big topic that we're going to start talking about, I think, new story. is how to create a new story and, 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 and hold a space for the new story to emerge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's so cool. Yeah. I think it's where we are. It's and then we can is. get into the signs and the symbols and the synchronicities and then the human design and all these powerful ways to help you see where we are stuck in our stories, to release the story, but integrate. That might be a good word. Integrate, integrate. the old story. Because we're creating a new world. We're creating a new world, yeah. I don't know what anybody else is doing, but you mm-hmm. and me, we're creating a new world. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Go ahead, Eric. <Mary>. Woo! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! So happy Easter, everybody. We love you. Go color an egg. <laughs> and then hide it from you, from yourself, and then see if you can find it. Isn't that what we do? In life? Mm-hmm. That's like being the soul, it's mm-hmm. like going and finding our higher self. Mm-hmm. It's in the egg, mm-hmm. and then open the egg. Get you one of the eggs that, and see what surprise is in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one I opened yesterday had an ice cube in it. That I'm not sure what that feels. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have you guys seen the movie Frozen? When you see it, the little girl Anna. <laughs> Talk. And the, the other one, Elsa, that's me. The magic. So when you see Frozen, I'm like the halo. think of Chucky and Simmy because that's who it is. Mm-hmm. All right, we love you. Bye. Uh, happy Easter. Oh, he wanted to say bye. Oh, come say hi to everybody. Come on, Chris. Get that say love. happy Easter. Happy Easter. <laughs> say somebody loves you. Somebody loves you. Bye. Say Easter. <laughs> <laughs>